Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. Uh, so if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Capricorn, which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this weekly reading or you just did enjoy my vibe, Capricorn, I would appreciate it if you were to give me a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. But remember, Capricorn, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I promise you. I believe my weekly cards, my weekly readings, rather, are just here to give you some food for thought, uh, something for you to consider as you go throughout your day, right, Capricorn? But never making the decision in your life, because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards. So remember that. So let's just get into your weekly reading. I want to know what's going on right now for my Capricorns with them. How, are they, how is it that you are feeling right now, Capricorn? You are in the moon energy right now. We'll break this down in a moment what this means, but I want to point out, write down the number nine for numerology, Capricorn, because nine is definitely your number for this week, right? See how it correlates with you in your life. Um, but also Archangel Haniel. If you're open, your belief system correlates with Archangels and connecting with Archangels. This is the Archangel to be connecting to this week. This is the one that is reaching out to you. Uh, so this card says, Capricorn, important insights, important psychic insights, so kind of like your intuition, uh, or like dreams, pay attention to your dreams as well, Capricorn. Uh, events behind the scenes, releasing fears that hold you back. So this is a card of, when you think about the moon, Capricorn, you think about uh, things, uh, you know, things being hidden in the more shadowed over, right? Because when the moon's out, the, the, the darkness is around, right? Because the sun's not out. Deep words coming out of your mouth right now, Valka, right? Um, but what I mean by this, what I'm trying to imply with this is that this is usually a card that will come forward when there's a little bit more than going on than what meets the eye. While this moon is illuminating some things, right? Um, this is more so like now we have to pull some clarifiers now, Capricorn, to get an idea of is there something that you need to look out for, right? Or is this something that's being revealed to you? Something that was revealed to you that caught you off guard that you didn't anticipate coming is basically what I'm trying to get across, Capricorn. So uh, let's see, let's get some clarifiers on this. So powerful already. Tower card. Is this shaping up to be a dramatic reading for you right now, Capricorn? What is going on in y'all's lives right now with this tower card? You have as well the Justice card coming in here. The Libra card. Y'all already know I had to point that out. Another major arcana for you. Wow. Okay. Capricorn. The Star card as well. It's the earring I'm wearing actually as well. Um, okay, Capricorn. Another major arcana. This is big changes. Big changes. Last one, Nine of Wands. This absolutely makes sense for you, Capricorn. It does. Because right now, I'm seeing you in this place, Capricorn, where uh, it kind of feels like the rug was pulled underneath from beneath you, almost, right? In this situation here, I see this tower moment where something caught you, confirming to me something caught you off guard with this moon energy, because it's under the moon energy, and just when you consider the tower card's energy by itself, Capricorn, uh, this is where it's kind of like the, you'll notice there's like a strike of lightning, right? And, you know, lightning is kind of like, you never know where lightning's going to strike, right? Presumably, um, seemingly random and catches you off guard. So it's in the same energy where I feel like something caught you off guard um, that really, I don't know how, I, you know, it's almost like throwing you in um into deep waters when maybe you weren't sh you're not quite sure if you're ready for it that's kind of the sense whatever those deep waters mean to you whether this is like an opportunity presenting itself that you would have to take up more responsibility capricorn whether this is you're having to move and change environments right and now think the rug has been sweeped from under you um whatever it is i just keep getting like shown the analogy of like um someone being thrown into the deep side of the pool and that's how you just learn how to swim right and it's this energy with this justice card coming in though this is where it makes it a little bit more interesting for you capricorn because now i am in this place of being like okay is this like a 
It's because I like to see, I mean, granted, again, I'm the Libra, so I like, I appreciate this card a lot, where it's bringing, I see this as a bringing things back to natural order. So I almost want to say Capricorn in this dynamic, it gives me this very strong sense because notice right now we've had five major arcana cards for you, nothing but major arcana. So right off the bat, you notice this is heavy, tra big transitions in your life, even taking the cards aside. Um, but it's giving me this implication, Capricorn, that uh this is almost something that needed to be shook up for you that you needed the rug to be pulled from under you to break you out of some type of cycle to break you out of some type of habit to really push you to go after your star whatever it is that you've been trying to reach after whatever it is that you know whatever that star thing is for you that you always have been desiring because the star is like i see this as the representation of um you know being able to accomplish this, being able to get this would just be such a weight off of your shoulders, being able to just, um, it's that one thing that you, you know, when you think about a star as a kid, like it's one of those things where, uh, you just want to touch it. You want to just reach it. It's one of those seemingly unobtainable things, but you just, uh, entertain the what if it were to happen. Right. And so I feel like this, instead of being in this constant situation of being like, oh, what if this were to happen? What if I were to be successful in this uh, field? What if I were to go out and move out on my own? What if I were to go out and try to find love, try to find someone that would love me more? Whatever your what if is, Capricorn. Um, I feel like it's always just been the sense of just being a what if, looking at the stars and being like, wow, it'd be nice to try to reach that star. And now I feel like something like spirit, whatever you want to believe in Capricorn, something puts you in this position now of where you are now put in this place of uh going after that star having to take it into reality you're kind of forced out of your comfort zone in some way um so now you kind of are put in this position where it's no longer a what if and being like kind of now in the sense of being like all right well now it's happening capricorn so uh are you up for the task are you ready for it right let's go a little bit deeper we have the Seven of Pentacles coming in here. So, all right, you've been preparing for this, Capricorn. You've been preparing. Knight of Swords. So you've been preparing for it, but part of the reason why you haven't been wanting to act is just because of, um, you know, maybe you feel like you haven't been up to the plate. Two of Pentacles, overwhelmed, trying to deal with too much at once. You have the Two of Pentacles pop up in your, when I was doing your pre-shuffle as well, Capricorn. Five of Swords. Okay. It's almost like Capricorn, you've been still like preparing for this. Like this is what, you know, uh, you've been doing like the stepping stones, but you're getting yourself in this position of being able to get ready to reach for the star. But I don't know if you just believed in it yourself or thinking that it was possible for you to have this moment, for you to be in this space now, Capricorn, of where it's actually starting to happen, going, doing forward movement. And so now it's because it's almost like, it just feels like a lot of just like in your head of being like this would be nice and planning in your head but not really taking action and this two of pentacles with this five of swords energy this is where i'm kind of confused with uh capricorn because with this i am sitting here and i'm like it's because it's almost like you're weighing out your options with things and being like well what if i were to do this now or instead of later right uh with this five of swords energy this is very much so Capricorn is it's, it's almost like you're treating this or like hope, wanting to treat this in a way where it's just like oh maybe like maybe if I can like delay this for like another like month or so feeling like so maybe you're like more ready because it feels like you don't feel like you're ready for it is the impression that I'm getting Capricorn and that's kind of where it's just like oh you know what if I just like dabble in it in a little bit but not fully commit to this energy right um it's interesting I want to get a little deeper with this Capricorn Ten of Cups coming in. But this is what you need to do. Queen of Wands in the reverse. You need to do it, but then you don't, it's, you're not honoring your flame. You're not honoring your passion. But if you were to, for your pentacles. Hmm. So Capricorn, breaking this down further, your Ten of Cups is encompassing your Tower and Justice card, as well as your Seven of Pentacles and your Knight of Swords. So in this sense, it's showing to me like you needed to just have this moment where it's almost like everything needed to come down to bring this natural order of sense in the name of uh, the long run for this Ten of Cups moment for you to have 
um, the, you know, like that, it's very much so like that white picket fence energy where it's just like things are like perfect for you. Queen of Wands in the reverse though. This is the energy that's covering your Justice card, the Star card, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. This is what it is that you're juggling with. You go back and forth with this sense of um, feeling as if your passion, you're the thing that you want to do, you're not ready for, or it's like out of your league sort of thing, right? And I say this because you're Three of Pentacles energy, right? This is the Nine of Wands, covering the Nine of Wands, Five of Swords. Uh, it's the thing that you want so badly, and this is almost the challenge that you need to see this uh, go through, uh, Capricorn, of where it's like you accept, you acknowledge, it's like, yeah, this is a spooky path to take, right? It's really trying, it's almost like a sense of, um, some signs have been popular, like Pisces got this as well, Capricorn, but very much so like imposter syndrome, where you feel like you're not of standard for it or like ready for it in some way. So let's go a little bit deeper. Six of Swords in the reverse. You're wanting to just part. Maybe part of this process is like you would have to move. Put, I do get this sense of putting distance between yourself and like an environment, right? So I don't know what this is on. Nine of Wands. That's what's spooking you out. Yeah, both of these cards being inverted. That's what's spooking you out. This next journey, this next step for you, Capricorn, is a step of where it's just yourself. There's no one else you can rely on. There's no one else you can check to. Um, if you fall on your face, there's no one that's going to help you recover, and that's what scares you. It scares you to put distance between what it is that you currently know and to go out into that unknown with that moon card that was, or keep in mind, encompassing this energy this entire time, Capricorn. And that's what's going on here, honey. So closing this off the hermit mode, but this is still one of those things, Capricorn, where it's like you have to accept yourself. You have to, like, this is one of those times, Capricorn, like you're one of those life experiences that we all go through, honey. We all go through it at some point in several points in our lives, if we're lucky, of where we go through certain experiences where we learn more about ourselves, right? Where we're going to feel a little bit more isolated and alone and no one understands us because we have to go out into those uncharted territories. We have to be the one to set the example for things. We have to just be willing to take a chance on ourselves and honor the flame, honor that little passion that we have, even if we are our even if we are our own cheerleader that's a mouthful to try to say right i feel like that's something you need to like give yourself some reassurance on capricorn is like being able to be okay with just being your own cheerleader you know i feel like a lot of you guys do not have a good support system right now and maybe i'm wrong you can correct me in the comments honey i won't care um it feels as if a lot of you guys don't have a you know maybe they're not unsupportive but i don't feel as if they're it doesn't feel like the environment that's like pushing you and motivating you in the positive ways of um feeding into your passions of like breaking out from something it does feel like something in your environment is what's weighing you down but still you clutch onto it for some reason right you clutch onto it is it because of your own environment convincing you that you're not like does this does your this is the question i want to ask capricorn is like does your environment make you feel as if you're not uh worthy or like strong enough to withstand any type of new journey right that does this does your current environment make you feel disempowered and just make you dim your light so that's why you feel like you can never break out and that's why it ends up being in this toxic cycle for you i don't know you would know the answer to that but a lot of heaviness honey let's go into some positive things let's go into some good things going on for capricorn what are the good things that are coming for you not to say that your reading general portion of that wasn't bad to, uh capricorn but you know because like this is all in a journey of, like you're going to your ten of cups you're going to be getting like a lot of beautiful things happening to you but you know it's all attached to doing like that rough journey four swords there's definitely going to be some healing that happens here you're going to be experiencing some healing but can we expound on this how does this healing, what does this healing look like? What are you even healing, right? How, how, what are you even healing, Capricorn? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You're healing part of your sense is where, this is going to sound really weird, Capricorn, but I feel like a lot of you guys do not, and I've never said this before for, for reading, but it feels like some of you guys, Capricorn, do not acknowledge your intelligence to the highest degree. Now, I know some of you Capricorns might even argue, and be like, oh, no, I acknowledge I'm intelligent, right? But do your actions reflect that? Do you truly believe in that you're intelligent? Or do you acknowledge you're intelligent but not fully own up to your own intelligence, right? Because when you have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, that's quite literally saying, in a sense, where you feel like you never learned from yourself. The Tower card. Yeah, you guys have such an insecurity. Knight of Wands in the reverse as well. You guys have this 
sense of where you're just so scared of going out. Well, I don't want to say you're scared, but I feel like you guys, Capricorn, need to experience like going out, putting putting yourself out there, putting um, you know, just taking a risk in a sense. Um, so you can experience like how good you actually are able to handle um situations when you're put into that in the moment right but that nine of wands it almost just gives me the sense of like insecurity of um being able to like go out on a passion right as the wands represents that fiery energy you know very much so like you, you guys capricorn feel as if like you don't associate yourself being like that you know like not to just go, using this cliche just for the simplicity of the message but you know you would never identify your story being the one where you move to la or hollywood and being the one that makes it right um now whatever that looks like to you I'm not saying like <laughs> anything and you, you guys get the point capricorn y'all are intelligent so you know what i mean by this but it's very much of the energy um so get out of this headspace i feel like once you heal that portion like so much good opens up for you but um yeah capricorn let's start now start getting into your social and love relationships this week because keep in mind capricorn we have more than just love and romance in our life we have all sorts of relationships we have work we have friends family all sorts of relationships King or Knight of Pentacles. Progress here. There's growth in some type of way. Time to buckle down and get uh, get things done. Honor your commitments. The guardian angel stepping forward. So I just want to really uh, emphasize was the Archangel uh, Archangel Haniel stepping up forward for you, really coming in strong again. And you know, this is all associated with getting out of your comfort zone, right? It's the Nine of Pentacles, I always say, is like going out into uncharted territories. So let's get a little bit more detail on this. What growth is happening? Someone from the past coming forward six of Pent or six of cups some type of offer coming in five of wands in the reverse okay capricorn now this doesn't have to be x energy so you don't just assume the worst capricorn unless you've only had fights with or conflicts with people that you've dated which no judgment honey i'm just saying i just like to make sure people like keep a because i just know how like readings are it's very easy to just see it in, like that x like romance energy um but right now yeah someone from your past i feel like capricorn is going to be starting to make a comeback or someone that you've had in your life for a while who maybe you guys haven't been on the best of terms recently is starting to learn from their mistakes or if there was a mistake done um i just feel as if people are maturing and there's going to be reconnection because the eight of, or the um not eight of pentacles the nine of pentacles is the sense of just like everyone being good everyone doing good for themselves and when they when people are good, doing good for themselves they're able to be good to other people and so with this five of wands in the reverse this lets me know of like a conflict at one point that has been kind of like they're moving on from because they're doing good again right because of that nine of pentacles capricorn and then with the six of cups this is an energy of like not only like a an offer or something, something being given to you, Capricorn, but it is an em emphasizing uh, past energy. And so I personally like to see this as in a sense where um, it's someone that you've had like a long standing history with, or, you know, you could still have them in your space right now, right? It's more so fitting depending on what your life is. Regardless, you all have some, someone's like you that you've had some conflict with, um, seemingly like is going to be reaching out soon. So take that as you will, honey. Um, let's now get into y'all's financial and wealth this week. Let's see what's going on for y'all's career this week, Capricorn. What's going on for y'all, honey? <clears throat> eight of fire, eight of wands. This makes sense for you, though, though, doesn't it? This is events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. This is what you want, right? This is one of those things I always say, Capricorn, is the eight of wands is like the card of like just trying out things and throwing it and seeing what sticks, right? It's one of those times where you just have to be ready at all times to just pick up the bat and just go. Um, let's see here. The Empress in the reverse, though. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. No, this is not in the reverse. This is in the upper right. So is this Empress card. I realize how it's just don't mind me capricorn it's like i just caught myself in how i was flipping these cards and presenting them as different than how i'm like like receiving them if that makes sense and three of cups in the upright so all the up upright cards very positive this empress card being associated with your eight of fire though this eight of wands energy where you're picking things up like this is very much so like an energy of like 
it's like one of those cartoons where it's just like you're having a bunch of stuff thrown at you and it's like up to you to like pick it up and try it out but it's going to be really overwhelming um for you but not in a bad way but it's all in the name of ace of wands three of cups this is associated with victory and meeting new people i feel because ace of wands is really about breaching into new energies blazing down a new path and three of cups i feel like you just get um I don't know. I guess that's more so a side message, really. Um, no really card of it. Like, there's no one specific card in here that reflects on, like, a person coming in for your finances. But I do feel like you end up meeting some people that more closely relate to you, Capricorn, um, as you blaze down this new path with this Ace of Wands energy. So, really good cards, uh, Capricorn. That's all the reading. Uh, but that is all the cards that I have for you for this weekly horoscope this week for you. I hope you found some cards that resonated with you this week, Capricorn. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. Capricorn, if you're interested in booking a reading with me, it's just go to my website, simplyvelka.com. All my social media is simply Velka, or just simply Velka, honey. And also, if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them one of their Zodiac videos from me, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future, though, Capricorn. I love you so much. Bye.